Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, I am Donatello and this is The Way. Today we are reading Jesus Calling. It is a 365 daily devotional written by Sarah Young talking about peace in Jesus' presence. It is June 24th and we are jumping in. Hold my hand and trust. So long as you are conscious of my presence with you, all is well. It is virtually impossible to stumble while walking in the light with me. I designed you to enjoy me above all else. You find the deepest fulfillment of your heart in me alone. Fearful, anxious thoughts melt away in the light of my presence. When you turn away from me, you are vulnerable to the darkness that is always at work in the world. Don't be surprised how easily you sin when you forget to cling to my hand. In the world, dependency is seen as immaturity. But in my kingdom, dependence on me is a prime measure of maturity. And this comes from Isaiah 41.10. So do not fear. For I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and I will help you with my righteous right hand. And from Psalms 62, 5 to 6. Find rest, O my soul, in God alone. My hope comes from him. He alone is my rock and my salvation. He is my fortress. I will not be shaken. Hold my hand in trust. So long as you are conscious of my presence with you, all is well. Isn't that so true? That when we start to let our minds drift to what the world has to say and what we are want to do and we start to let go of God's hand and we start to immerse ourselves more in the world we start to worry more we start to tell little white lies and those little white lies create a snowball effect right our little tiny sins create snowball effects we start to disconnect in areas where we don't even realize we're disconnected but when we seek god in every single moment when we look at things and we realize God created this, God created this moment. When we ask God to be here and, and if you're struggling with trying to see God in your moment, in nature, if you're having trouble communicating, ask him to be there with you. Ask God, say, Father, be here with me in this moment. Holy Spirit, allow me to feel you here and see if you don't feel a shift in the atmosphere. Shift in your being, the very thing inside of you, your core, the spirit that is in you. See, you need things to be quiet to hear him. If the world is going and is so loud, you won't be able to. It's so important to carve out time with him so that you can hear him, so that you can communicate with him and really have that one-on-one -on -one intimate, intimate time with him. Because that intimate time, it reconfirms to you, oh yeah, this is our relationship. And then that carries those small moments throughout the day. You can have those small moments because of those big intimate moments that you have. It's virtually impossible to stumble while walking in the light with me. You'll have difficult moments, difficult times. Things will come at you, but you won't stumble. You won't second guess yourself. You won't question or fall short and worry and be consumed with what ifs and, or how comes because you know God has a plan for you and you're in communication with him constantly. So though you might not know the plan, you know 
that you're on the road that he has prepared for you. I designed you to enjoy me above all else. You find the deepest fulfillment in your heart in me alone. This is so true. When you ask God to fill, to fill the atmosphere, you feel this joyfulness, this feeling that just feels, ah, there's no other word I can describe it because it's undescribable. You just know that God is there with you because things just move and your whole, everything is like, ah, everything clears away. All the anxiousness, the fear, everything in the moment you're in. Wouldn't it be nice to carry that moment by moment? And you can. You can carry these things moment by moment. You can carry it along with you in the communication constantly asking God to be there with you. He delights in those moments where you rely on him. The world says that reliance is weak. You should just rely on yourself, me, myself, and I. I am in Miss Independent. And God says, rely on me. That takes more strength than Miss Independent, Mr. Independent. It takes more strength to say, I believe in this strength. The strength that I can't see, but I feel. The strength that I know is there, though other people tell me it's crazy. That's the strength that I believe in. Fearful, anxious, fearful, anxious thoughts melt away in the light of my presence. When you turn away from me, you are vulnerable to the darkness that is always at work in the world. Don't be surprised how easily you sin when you forget to cling to my hand. When God is an afterthought or when you're thinking about other things, it's easy or to it's easier to sin because you can make justifications and those justifications are like, well, it's really for good and X, Y, and Z and, you know, it's not hurting anyone and, and it's just easier this way and you create all these scenarios why it's okay. Any way you slice it, it's just a snowball effect. Hold on to God's hand. The devil is like a roaring lion just waiting to devour anyone anyone who's caught off guard and that's what he's waiting to do he's waiting for the moment the moment that you are distracted so he could slip in and distract you more distract you from your calling distract you from your purpose distract you from everything that god has created you to be because it terrifies him to see you succeed because it hurts his purpose, you fulfilling the kingdom's purpose. My kingdom dependence on me is a prime measure of maturity. Let's be mature in God's kingdom. Let's live dependent on him, loving, giving, and ever present with him, holding, clinging onto his hand. Where he goes, we go. Where he leads, we follow. We don't have to know where we're going, but we have to be in communication with the person who is leading us. Remember guys, I love you so much. God loves you so much. I will see you back later.